Hi, this is Liz and Annie, and we are here to try to show you how to use one of the best features that exists in our Zoom accounts, which is breakout rooms. So for this demonstration, I have obviously me and Annie, and then also in my Zoom room, but not with video on, are Erica, Diamond, and Kate. So we have multiple participants, just like we would if we were actually like having a discussion section or a class meeting. So down here at the bottom in all these different settings that you have, Annie made a video already to walk everybody through what each of these things does. There's an option right here for breakout rooms. So when I have multiple people in my Zoom room, I can click on breakout rooms and try to figure out how I wanna allocate different participants to different rooms. So I could put everybody into one breakout room and only have the second one that actually works. I could distribute so that everybody's in a different room. I don't know why Diamond's not showing up in here. Maybe, there we go. So I just had to recreate the rooms now that Diamond joined the call. So uh, what it does, as you may have noticed, you can either do this manually or automatically. So you could, if you had a large lecture or your TA was having a discussion section, have it go in and just force five students into different breakout rooms and they'd be in small groups and you or the TA, whoever was hosting the meeting, could pop in and check on and visit with each of the breakout rooms in turn. If I wanted to choose who goes into each room, I could do that and then I could come up here and assign my participants into certain rooms. So if there are students that I know that I want to put into certain breakout rooms or want to have talk about a particular topic, I could do that myself. So you can either have it do it automatically with however many number of students you want in however many rooms you want to create, or you can do that yourself. Kate is asking me a question. Uh, no, you should not be able to see my screen. And Kate's giving a thumbs up as you can see in the corner of her video there to say that she understood my response to her chat question. So it's very helpful. Thank you, Kate. So I have now created breakout rooms and uh, people have been invited. So each individual student in my room has been uh, given a link to click on to go to their breakout room. So Erica's already gotten in hers. Kate already went in hers. Diamond is not yet joining hers, but she's actually in a different meeting. So I don't know if she's going to. And then Erica and Annie are in another one. So now I, as the instructor, have an option to join either of these two breakout rooms. So I think I'll join Kate's because she's in there by herself right now. And it takes a second. Okay, so now here I am in breakout room two with Kate, who doesn't have her video on, but she's in here. You can see that I have a participant in here. If we needed to talk about something privately, or if I were having an office hour and I wanted to talk to students individually, this is another way to handle that. When I need to return back to a different room or to the larger chat, I go back to breakout rooms and I can leave this one and it'll take me back to the main session where I have to unmute myself when I come back. So it mutes everybody automatically when they come back to the main thing. And then if I want people to get out and come back to my main session, I can tell them And I can give them a minute to process that and to come back. And then if they don't come in a timely fashion, I can just close all the rooms that they're in. So they'll be forced back into the main session. So again, as the instructor, I have the option to join any breakout room I want. I can see who's in there currently versus who may have left for whatever reason. Uh, and I can summon people back if a group has a question for an instructor who is not currently in their breakout room, they can also flag that. So they can send up a message that essentially says, hey, instructor, we need you to join our breakout room. We have a question or we need help. So um, maybe Annie and Erica can go back to their room and then flag me and I'll show you how that works. Okay, Annie's on it. So uh, I'm not doing anything, which means I'm staying in the main room and Kate and Diamond are staying in the main room too. And so here you can see that Eric and Annie are both in that room and then Annie has raised a question for me. She needs help so I can join her breakout room. 
Yeah. Hi guys, I saw that you had a question. Yes, hello. Huh. <laughs> All right, and then if we wanna go back to the main room, we just click down here and leave breakout room. They can do that individually. Go to the main session. Again, I'm muted right when I am back into the main thing, so it mutes everybody automatically. But it looks like everybody is back. So hopefully that helps you get started using breakout rooms. Again, Annie and I are here to answer any questions that you might have. Good luck.